the banana montage. It's me from the future.
All right, you guys. You can't watch me go away. It's too weird talking to myself with other people watching. The Outdoor Vitals sleeping pad. So I've owned this sleeping pad for a hot minute, but I haven't actually used it yet because I've been hammock camping for the last couple years. But we're out camping with some friends this weekend. And uh, as you can see, behind me there's some snow, and I think probably tonight it might get down into the 30s. Uh, with the Outdoor Vitals pad, I also have the Outdoor Vitals Mummy Pod, which I normally use on my hammock, but today we're going to try it out with the pad. I also have the Outdoor Vitals Pillow. So this won't be a full review of the pad because I haven't got a chance to put it through the paces yet. I haven't used it multiple times. In fact, this will be the first night. So this is more of a my first thoughts. So what I'm going to do is set it up, see how easy that goes. Uh, we'll take a look at some of the material and uh, then we'll go in for some close-ups and give you guys some of the numbers. So let's set this thing up. I ordered the long wide. It weighs in at 18 ounces, measures in at 25 inches by 78 inches, is made of a 20 denier ripstop polyester. Outdoor Vital states it has oversized rails to help keep you on the pad and that it's ultra thick at 3.5 inches. It does come with an easy inflate valve and claims an R value of 4. First impressions are the quality of the stuff sack feels really well made. Uh, it actually seems like a dry bag. I'm not entirely sure that it is. And uh, one of the features of the bag is that you can actually use it to blow up the pad. So I haven't done that yet. This will be my first try with you guys. I wanted to share my experience with you guys and just see how easy it is if it's intuitive or if it's a pain in the butt. So, let's try that out. All right, so we got the bag filled with air. Are you filled with air yet? Uh, go on, go on. You wanna review the sleeping pad too? All right, so we got the bag filled with air. Here is the sleeping pad. I'm about 45 seconds into this and uh, can say I'm not impressed with this bag. Don't know if I'll be using that. I think there is a benefit to it though. If you get the bag down and it's really cold outside, you can fill your pad with air around you instead of air from your lungs because when it's really cold out, air from your lungs will compress inside your pad and it will shrink down a bit. There is a benefit to that. It does seem a little phallic. <laughs> Let's just blow it up the old-fashioned way. <laughs> Woo, lightheaded. Alright, there it is. I got a long wide. I'm six foot four, so we'll see if it's actually long enough. So, my feet do hang off the end. So, very first impressions. It looks and feels well made. 
I laid on it for the very first time just now. It feels comfortable enough. Uh, I did lay on my side for a minute. My hip wasn't digging into the ground. The fabric does feel extremely slippery. So I'm gonna put the Outdoor Vitals Mummy Pod on it and then lay in it. <laughs> See if I go sliding off like a water slide. So tonight, we'll see if we stay warm, and I'll give you guys my first night review in the morning. Or if we start freezing to death, I'll probably fill you in in the middle of the night. Well, hopefully that doesn't happen. <laughs> Hey you guys, well, it's bedtime. Uh, according to my car, it is 38 degrees. So I can only imagine that it will get colder uh, throughout the night. Um, right now, I am on the sleeping pad in my sleeping bag. I have shoved a puffy coat down to the foot of my sleeping bag. I'm wearing a hoodie, a beanie, uh, pants, and wool socks. So, hoping I stay warm tonight. Uh, if I get too cold, I'm going to have to, I don't guess, go up to my car and turn it on and turn the heater on. But uh, I'm hoping that in this 30 degree bag, we stay plenty warm. Anyway, uh, if you guys don't see me for the rest of the night, that means I'm asleep. <laughs> and if you do see me, that means I got cold and woke up. So uh, I'll fill you in and uh, let you know how it goes. Good morning. Uh, cold night. Yeah, I went to bed, I think it was around 11.30. At that time it was 38 degrees according to the car. It is now 5.30. It's 37 degrees according to the car. So uh, overnight it hasn't uh, dropped significantly in temperature but I feel like I have. <laughs> I did sleep for the first few hours and then sometime around 4 a.m. I started feeling pretty cold. Um, and by like 5.15, 5.20, I started feeling chilled through and I just called it and came inside my car because starting to feel like a little shivery. Um, the sleeping bag is rated to 30 degrees and the pad is an R value of... <laughs> I had to put a number in there. I can't remember. I think it's four. But that should have easily got me down to the mid-30s. Sleeping bag companies, if you're listening, if your sleeping bag is comfortable to 45 degrees, just call it a 45 degree bag and then put a caveat that you won't die down to 30. Times throughout the night, I did feel like there was cold. Um, the, the weight of my shoulder or hip or back pressing down on the pad. I did feel uh, a chill through that. Uh, not the entire time, just occasionally. A problem I had was my feet hung off the end of the pad and uh, since my feet hung off the end of the pad they smashed 
the sleeping bag down on the floor, uh, which then allowed the heat to escape through the uh, through the actual ground or the ground to cool my feet. The pillow did fine. Uh, if you're going to be camping in degrees in the 30s or the 20s especially, I would get a, a much higher rated bag. So overall, I wouldn't call it a win. Um, it wasn't a complete failure. I didn't die. <laughs> Definitely come September, um, October, I'm going to have to get a, a lower temperature bag. The material seemed really slippery to touch. It didn't. It wasn't an issue while sleeping. I didn't slide off the mat or slide around. I was on a pretty flat surface, but yeah, that uh, that slippery material was not an issue during the night. So I'm gonna sit in the car with the heater on for a little while and uh, try and get this like chill out of myself. Then I'm gonna go make a cup of coffee and. Go exploring.